Yes, yes, yes! Among the greatest progressive rock bands of all time. Yes's big breakthrough came in 1971 with the release of the group's fourth studio album, Fragile. It's the album that made the British band bona fide stars in America, arriving with the hit single, Roundabout. What made Fragile such a big deal? Why is it still considered one of the greatest prog albums ever made? I'm Scott T. Sterling, and this is the Rhino Report. Boasting stellar songwriting, virtuosic playing, and mind-boggling visuals, Fragile was the album that launched the band to the peak of its powers, the first in a long run of acclaimed LPs that made Yes the darlings of the worldwide prog rock scene. Since there are so many reasons and components that made Fragile such a landmark release, we're inspired to take a closer look at this timeless album and break them down into four fun facts about Yes's Fragile. Number one, Fragile was the first Yes album to feature legendary keyboardist Rick Wakeman. When Yes's keyboardist Tony Kay was reluctant to explore the new world of electronic instruments, he was replaced with Rick Wakeman. Formerly a seasoned session player and a member of the folk band The Straubs, Wakeman was keen to work with Mellotrons and Moog synthesizers during the recording of Fragile, which allowed him to flex his considerable keyboard chops. Number two, Fragile was the first Yes record to boast artwork by the legend Roger Dean. Artist Roger Dean shopped his portfolio to Atlantic Records, and the label's European GM, Phil Carson, was so impressed that he promised to give Dean a call if either Led Zeppelin or Yes needed new artwork. When Dean met Yes while they were recording Fragile, it was love at first sight. According to guitarist Steve Howe, quote, Our music has always been unusual in trying to do something distinctive. And we're proud of that. But we've also lucked out with a guy who has something definitive going on as well. Roger gave our sleeves the wow factor. If it had been up to me, I would have never let anybody else do sleeves for us. End quote. Number three. Fragile was huge on the U.S. charts. After being a popular bootleg record in America in the months before it was officially released here, Fragile was a huge seller on this side of the Atlantic. An edited version of the album's opening track, Roundabout, was the breakthrough, climbing the Hot 100 to peak at number 13. The full length did even better, rocking the Billboard 200 until it peaked at number four. Fun fact number four. Popular Fragile track, Long Distance Runaround, was originally a B-side. When Yes released Roundabout as a single, Long Distance Runaround was pressed on the B-side. After Roundabout became a hit, savvy radio DJs thought to flip it over and play that B-side. The track was perfect for the freeform radio style of the day, and it became a hit in its own right. In celebration of Yes's Fragile, Rhino is proud to announce the super deluxe edition of this Watershed LP, set for release on June 28th. This updated edition will feature a newly remastered version of the album on both CD and vinyl, plus rare and unreleased live recordings. A Blu-ray disc completes the collection with Stephen Wilson's 2024 mixes, including the album in Dolby Atmos and 5.1 surround sound, plus exclusive Roger Dean signed lithograph bundle available only on rhino.com. Limited to just 500, so act fast. Revisit Yes's Classic Fragile with the new Super Deluxe Edition, available for pre-order right now on Rhino.com. What's your favorite track on Yes's Fragile? Let us know in the comments below. Just say yes, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Rhino channel for more Rhino Report every Friday.